EA Sports. It's in the game. That's one of those plays that you call and everything seems to happen exactly as it's scripted in the playbook. to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Buffalo Bills and the Carolina Panthers. Here's the former Florida Gator, Eddie Pinheiro, to get us started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Terry to get the drive started. And he'll hope that this is not a sign of what's in store as he has to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Second down. Airing one out for Crowder. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And he will bring this one back. It's a big six for a Panther touchdown. 
inside. Big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And some room to work. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Allen to throw it. Flush to his right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On play action, Allen. They will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Bills are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. zero and this is not the way to start a drive well, the offense knew it they were already starting Let's to walk down. back as that one is accepted so a little bit of a stiffer challenge now first and 15 following the delay of game from the shotgun to McCaffrey he finds some open field here and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds that good for 19 and a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. First down, Walker. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. 
Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Now Walker. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What did they always say when they were throwing us the ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, but he did have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I would give a return punch, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead. Of it really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not, but sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. These two teams all tied after one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. To throw is Walker. And this incomplete, oh my. He might have been celebrating in the end zone if he'd held on, nearly picked, but instead, it'll bring up fourth down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. They'll run for it, McCaffrey. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Here's Walker. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Shai Smith, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this fielded right at the goal line. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Throwing on first down is Allen. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. Uncorks one for Davis. And he's got it inside the 10. A big play here for Buffalo, 62 yards. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen on the move. to, And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. 
Jamison Crowder from six yards away. And the Bills are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Certainly not what they wanted there, so the football by rule comes out to the 40. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but well, that's a costly miss here, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at the 40. McCaffrey running up the middle to the 43, second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Walker. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Two! Seventy Rangers! Seventy Rangers! On second and a couple. Walker. Oh, he'll take a shot from McCaffrey downfield. And this one he incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone. And that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 11 yards in the Panther first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. the play fake. Walker flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Here we Working out of the gun here, Walker. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Shai Smith, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Panthers have broken our tie as they take the lead. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. McKenzie now from his end zone. 
And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's got some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Allen now on first down. Finding Knox there, complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They run here with Singletary. He's into the secondary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Play action now. Walker steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Come on, come on. Hey. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now a hit and a loose football. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on this. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. But today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. 
Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And again, this Buffalo defense there and run support to stop him behind the line. Walker from the gun on third down. And that will be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Isaiah McKenzie. Fights through it, and finally out of bounds, so he doesn't take it the distance, all but five yards shy of the end zone. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. They'll run on first down with Singletary, and the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. And he'll get in! Touchdown, Buffalo! Devin Singletary with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills have taken the lead here this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Try to get it to Anderson, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. over they'll set up shop at the 46 yard line Singletary here running out of the gun. And some room to run now. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 124 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night.
Singletary again. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Allen now looks to throw. And he's got his tight end knocks for a Bills touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Bills will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Takes it at the seventh. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. out there and ready to begin their next drive and really Charles not much of a surprise that they're losing they just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game and as you well know in today's NFL if the passing game isn't working usually not much else is working either exactly right about that partner and I know that right now the easy answer would be hey let's run the football but that might not be everything you need so despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it they've got to find some type of a play multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. The offense on third down tonight, just one for five to this point. This is third and nine. Mayfield now. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. Here's Mayfield. He's going to wind up and air it out. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Mayfield on play action. Buying time to his lead. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Let's go. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. On 
first down, Allen. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. True. So when you throw your hand up in here and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. McCaffrey will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Again, McCaffrey. And this time he's not going anywhere. In fact, he'll lose yardage back to the three. Now they really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Throwing Mayfield. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Panthers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And this is caught. So they took a chance, but they are back with it a single point here in the fourth. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This is taken just shy of the 10. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. A give up the middle to Singletary. And some space here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 173 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, he's got him in the lead. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. The offense coming back out here, plenty of energy, ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline part. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to get the football back at their own 17. Singletary to get the drive started. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. 
Right back to Singletary on second down. And he lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. I'm guessing that on the sidelines there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hurt them in the long run. They're still going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, they got the, the two-score cushion, but you know what coaches say, Charles? Finish strong. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. There he goes, right side. The 20, 10, 5.